This recipe today comes from the Usborne, I hope I'm saying that right, Children's Book of Baking. Today's recipe are the gingerbread flowers. Yum. Our chef's tip for today is use a kitchen towel to wipe a little cooking oil over a measuring spoon before you measure the syrup. It will help the syrup slide off the spoon more easily. The syrup is in this recipe today. Gingerbread flowers. You can make these gingerbread flowers look really pretty by decorating them with different colored icing. If you like really gingery cookies, add extra ginger instead of cinnamon. Ingredients. This makes 25 cookies. You need one and one half cups of all purpose flour, one and one half teaspoons ground ginger, one half teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon baking soda, one stick, which is a half a cup chilled butter or margarine, three fourths cup soft light brown sugar, one medium egg, two tablespoons corn syrup, writing icing, I guess you need it for writing icing, and a flour shaved cookie cutter. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Use a paper towel to wipe a little cooking oil over two baking trays. Use a sieve to sift the flour into a large mixing bowl. Sift the ginger, cinnamon, and baking soda into the bowl too. <laughs> Cut the butter or margarine. Margarine into chunks and stir it in so that it is coated with flour. The third step is use your fingertips to rub the chunks of butter or margarine into the flour until the mixture looks like fine bread crumbs. Then stir in the sugar. Break the egg into a small bowl and beat it with a fork. Add the syrup to the egg and beat it in. Add the eggy mixture to the flour, then mix everything together. Holding the bowl in one hand, use your other hand to squeeze the mixture together until you have a smooth dough. Use a blunt knife to cut the dough in half. Sprinkle a little flour onto a clean work surface and put one piece of the dough onto it. Then roll out the dough until it is about a quarter inch thick, which is one fourth inch thick. The seventh step, use a flour shaped cookie cutter to cut out lots of flour shapes from the dough. Use a spatula to lift the shapes onto the baking trays. Roll out the other half of the dough and cut more flower shapes from it. Squeeze the scraps of dough together to make a ball. Roll it out and cut more shapes. Put the cookies into your oven and bake them for 12 to 15 minutes until they are dark golden. Leave the cookies on the trays for five minutes to cool. Use a spatula to lift the cookies onto a wire rack. When they are cold, draw patterns on them with writing icing or make your own icing to pipe on page 72, which I will show you in just a half a second. <laughs> Thank you.
There are lots of different ways to decorate your cakes and cookies. You could try out different colors of icing and add piped icing candy, sprinkled sugar, flowers, or chocolate curls. You could also make patterns with sugar sifted over a stencil. The piping icing um, for your cookies are, you need one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one and a half tablespoons of warm water, colored food dye. To pipe the icing, two small plastic food bags. You can stick candy to plain cakes with a dot of icing. Did you know that? Use a blunt knife to spread on the icing. Sip the powdered sugar into a bowl. Stir in the warm water to make paste. Spread half the icing over the cake. Add two drops of food dye to the icing in a bowl and mix it in well. Put one plastic food bag inside the other. Spoon the blue icing into the bag. Hold it over the bowl and snip off a tiny corner. Be careful that the icing doesn't run out. Move the bag over the cake, taking care not to spill gently. Sorry, not to spill. Gently squeeze the bag as you draw patterns on the cake. I'm sure they're going to be yummy, whatever you make. 